Okay, so big hello to all of you. We are going to discuss another question on AIMS pattern. This question is based on reason and assertion. So now the AIMS paper will have different kind of question on different format. And you must practice all of them. And sometimes, like this particular reason assumption, this type is very fruitful because you get one mark and they deduct only 25%. Negative marking is only one fourth. So you can see reason assertion type where they give one mark, the negative marking is only one by four. So both assertion, first option is both A and B are correct. Assertion reason A, B both correct and B explains A. Second is both are correct, but independently correct, not related to each other. Third, assertion is independently correct and reason wrong. A is correct, B is wrong. Fourth, B is correct, A is wrong. And both are wrong. The last option. So this question, pancreatic cancer pain. You see, for palliation of pain in pancreatic cancer, either we keep the patient on morphine because NSAID doesn't work now, or the best way is celiac ganglion block or splanchnic nerve block. Celiac ganglion block is done by absolute alcohol. Splanchnic nerve block normally is done by uh, radiofrequency ablation. Radiofrequency ablation is considered more precise, safer. So celiac ganglion block can be done through anterior approach or posterior approach. So anterior approach is more commonly what we prefer. And it's done at T12L1 level. And bilaterally, both sides. So pancreatic pathology pain, <clears throat> either due to chronic pancreatitis or cancer, can be tackled with celiac ganglion block. So this is a question on the celiac ganglion block that we do for pancreatic cancer pain in late stage as a palliative measure. One major option A is one major complication of celiac ganglion block is hypotension, right? And one of the late complication is diarrhea. So first option here is right. And this is correct. Why we get, it's an early complication. Why we get hypotension? Due to sympathetic block. So sympathetic block means vasodilatation. So bowel vessel, mesentery vessel undergo dilatation. They lose their tone. And because of that, the blood accumulates there and patient develops hypotension. So this is an early complication. Hypotension due to loss of sympathetic tone of splanchnic vessel. They dilate and blood accumulates there. Option, that's the right statement. Option B, one of the late complication is diarrhea. Now, this is also a right statement. Why we get diarrhea? Due to sympathetic block, there is overactivity of parasympathetic system. So now parasympathetic system gets activated and it leads to diarrhea. So A and B both are correct, but this hypotension is not due to diarrhea. This hypotension is due to Sympathetic tone gone and the vessel they get dilated. So A and B both are independently correct, but assertion the B does not explain is not the reason for A. So first was A and B both correct, and B is the re explains A reason of A. Two was both correct but independently correct. B does not explain A. Three was only A correct, B wrong. Four was P correct, A wrong, and 5 was both wrong. So in this question, both are independently correct, but they're not related. B does not explain one. B is not, not the reason for one. So both statements are independently correct, but B is not the correct explanation of A. Hypotension is due to loss of vessel sympathetic tone and vasodilation, while diarrhea is due to parasympathetic overactivity. And this is a figure where sympathetic gang i mean celiac ganglion block is being done from the anterior approach normally we go from the anterior approach when you go from the anterior anterior is more preferred uh, posterior anterior is done in supine position so for patient and doctor it's more preferred posterior is an oblique approach which has little more risk of chylothorax though posterior is safe but anterior is more comfortable so people prefer anterior this is after the uh, procedure the so in this question, 2 is the best answer because A and B both are independently correct, while B does not explain A. So this is reason assertion type of question 
which is a new pattern in aims which will be very yielding one marks you get and only one four you lose so this you must attempt 